My name is Ronny Leisen. I'm working as a senior maintenance specialist in Startkraft. I'm here together today with uh, Subhash. Okay. Uh, this is Subhash and I'm working with IT. So digital architect on mobility and web solutions for Startkraft. And we'll be talking about something which is not related to SAP. So first SAP and then non-SAP. <laughs> We would like to give you a short uh, presentation and a demonstration of our, one of the most important apps, I think, in Startcraft. Yeah. The maintenance most. app. <clears throat> the but first one who started mobility in Startcraft, actually. Yeah. yeah. We started the project to develop this app in 2012. But first, I will just give you a brief introduction of Startcraft and also display our ERP system and a little bit about the way forward to to a maintenance app. But in general, we will try to make as much time as possible for a demonstration of the app. And finally, Subhash will say a few words about Neptune outside SAP. So other scenarios where you can use Neptune to really give something cool to uh, your employees. Yeah. OK. So Startcraft, we are. Uh, a power producer within four different technologies. Hydro, <coughs> wind, gas-fired power, and district heating. It's approximately 3,800 employees in more than 20 countries. And we operate and maintain 372 power plants around the world. So it's quite obvious that we need an ERP system in order to control, operate, and maintain our assets. And of course, we have SAP, which are a wonderful uh, ERP system. But if you look at the interface in SAP, this is what you see. There's a lot of information spread over a lot of input fields and different tabs. And, and it has also been pointed out today that this could be challenging for an end user. And if we look at the feedback from the end user, they find the, the interface difficult to handle. And they also claim that it requires a lot of, of training and use of the system in order to handle it in an efficient way. So they claim that they need a more simplified and more intuitive interface. They would also like a mobile solution which work both online and offline. They would like to be able to display both the work and the historical data at point of work. And they would also like to, to reduce the, the need to do manual work and printout of work orders. And they would also like to do the reporting and the work order confirmation at point of work immediately. And finally, we have no, not full uh, language support backend in SAP. We have it in Norwegian, uh, English, and Germany. Okay. So for, for the rest of the countries, they don't have the, their own uh, language in the, the backend system. And hence, they would like to have uh, the, their language supported in the app. Yeah. If we look at the interface in the second generation of the app, this is the main menu of the app. On top, we have My Workspace, where you can have My Notifications and My Work Orders. <coughs> there is a selection to it for the search, where you can search and you can download both notifications and work orders. There are even the functionality offline, and you have a possibility to search for offline data, which are then downloaded to, to, the, to the mobile device. And we can create a new notification directly, and from this notification, create a work order. This is the interface for the notification. So we can create the notification, and we can also create the work order directly. And if you, if you search for the notification or a work order, you can display it, and you can also handle it. You can perform the whole work order flow via the, the application. 
Okay, should we now try to do a demonstration of the app? Hope that everything is working. Fingers crossed. The technical part, right? The UX is simple now. The hardware is more difficult. Okay, so. So just hope that everything is working. This is quite risky, Subash. It works. <laughs> and I will go into the test environment and just show you the, 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 the application. Now we are on the main menu. If I click on my workspace, I will have my favorite notifications, notifications created by my user, and the same for work orders. In addition, I have a possibility to, 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 to save my searches. If I click on a notification or a work order created by my user, just hope that it, yeah. Then I found one work order. Click on the work order. Hopefully it runs. Ooh. <laughs> <You're not there>? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you see the, the work order, the general data. And we have the data for the operations, internal and external. We are able to handle both internal and external operations. We can create uh, the purchase requisition directly from the app. And then uh, the, the purchasers have to, to create the purchase order back in. We are also able to handle components, both stock and non-stock components, directly from, from the app. And we can, we can check the storage, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, storage location? Yeah, the storage. The, the Inventory replenish? The beholding. Inventory? Yeah, the, the level on the stock. And we have measuring points. I can go into the measuring points and display the history. This is very important for an end user to be able to display the history from the last readings. And if there are any comments, they're able to, to read it directly out in the field. Oops, what happened? If I press the process button, the green one, I'm able to, to process the work order through the flow. And I can then create the work order, I can release the work order, I can do the, the safe job analysis. I can change the safe job analysis at any time until a technical can complete it. I could do the confirmation. And the confirmation, I could confirm both the measuring points and the components. I could add activities. And we can also report our, our hours directly. Just hope that it works. Ooh. It did. It did. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You can see something about the languages and Yeah. I think we will say a little bit more in the in the in the presentation. Sure. And of course there's no yeah. problem to, to just to create a new notification if you like. It's on the fly to just create a new notification. I will not do that, uh, that now, but it's, it's very simple to, to, to create a notification and also to, to create a work order directly from the, work, uh, from, the, from the application. Okay, should we do the rest from the yeah. presentation? And the response has been so good that <clears throat> people demanded to replace entire SAP with this. I was like, that's not possible. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the key benefits with the app, we have been able to create uh, an application which are very user friendly and with a very intuitive interface. The app works both mobile, online and offline. Of course, offline with some reduced functionality, but still very good. We can do the, the most important thing that is the work or the confirmation offline. We have full lo local language support for all countries which we would like to implement into the solution. The application is available for iOS and on Android devices, both on phone and tablets. And it can also be used on a, on a desktop via Google Chrome. The effect we see is that the, the, the training needs are reduced dramatically. The, the, the app is more or less self-explainable and they will learn it in just a few, few hours. We also see that improved use of the ERP system via the MVP app. And the overall data quality is improved. And finally, the next generation will be just around the corner. Yeah. We have started a project where we will we'll try to, to split the functionality uh, of the app into several apps. This is due to the fact that there is a lot a lot of functionality into the app as yeah, of it's, today. It's quite complicated and same time we are sort of going in different countries which has different needs. So we cannot, you know, just make one application fits for all. So we have to split it and give it what is needed as per the role, the country, the language, and, and give the, the personalizations possibility. We would also <laughs> implement functionality for uh, sub, uh, DMS in order to have pictures and documents in accordance to the work permit functionality, the work clearance management, but then it will probably be a display functionality for this. To identity. start with, yeah. Yeah, to start with. And then, Sebastian, me. you can continue. Yeah. Okay, first, <clears throat> I'm coming from SAP background, so there's nothing wrong with SAP. <laughs> so what I'm trying to see is we are using SAP for mobile and web, and basically whatever we can use Neptune for. But then we found a scenario, like as Roni said, we are going, we are growing, we are in 20 different countries with 4,000 employees. And <clears throat> we have local IT people, we have local IT departments, and we don't know what they are doing. They don't know what we are doing. <laughs> Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> so our management in IT started like, okay, how should we handle it? Because people need, let's say, a mobile platform or a mobile application. They go out to the local vendor, they buy something and we have no idea. And suddenly we have three mobile platforms and four publishing tools and six you know, uh, small solutions for custom development and stuff like that. So we have no idea what's going on. So how to control it? Obviously you cannot control until you know it. <laughs> so we started doing uh, inventory check. We found 450 plus systems which are either IT, I mean not, not all of them are controlled by IT. Some of them are owned by business deal done directly outside uh, without IT uh, getting involved into it. So, okay, we can't control business, but probably we can control IT people. <laughs> so we should bring a channel, we should bring some platform where, you know, the IT people can communicate, have a channel, have a platform to collaborate, to share the knowledge, and at least talk to each other. Without that, I don't think we can succeed in a, in a global um, landscape, the way we are growing. So we started a gamification uh, thing uh, using Neptune because we had the Neptune in place, we had all the employees having access to it, and it's quite quick. I think we used 10 days to uh, develop and deliver two, or two versions of it since March this year. What we did, uh, we created, basically divided the entire IT into different teams, given names as uh, the new IT trends or buzzwords, and we just gave, the, I mean, the people are not really from mobility or virtual reality or big data background, but they are given the, the you know, the randomly placed in the teams. And they were supposed to share something or talk about something which is related to that area or something they are doing already. And idea is obviously, uh, <laughs> you have to work in a team to gain more coins. We call it MI coins, not Bitcoins, but MI coins. And MI is the name of the department in uh, StarCraft IT. The internal name is MI. And the share is like, you know, let's share it. 
let's get it going. <laughs> let's, let's talk about things, what we are doing. So, and the, 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 the home page looks like this. So what you have really is you have the statistics showing the top three teams and their scores. You have my team, like, okay, my current ranking is number four and total MI, 51 MI coins. Then this is me, individual contributor, with a bronze level, and I so far I'm rated as a five star on one of my uh, sharing, which I have done. And I have tasks. So what happens really is, uh, like, I call in for a presentation or I call, call in for a demo, and then I have to report that through this application by using the share button at the bottom, which brings up a very simple form. We can see it now. And then you register it, and you put a verifier who was there, who did attend the session, just to make sure that you know it's not a fake uh, coins which are given to me. So, so somebody needs to verify and approve, and that's, that's what appears under my task. So that's it. This is the entire application. You have nothing more than that. Uh, and then I think we can go for a quick demo. And since lots of so the motto is share it, take it, use it. So you share it, the other people take it, and they use it in different projects and different business areas. And since people are not knowing their SAP passwords, they don't know what SAP is, we had to make it very simple. So you don't have any login screen. <laughs> you have this image. You click on the image to start sharing. It calls SAP Authenticator, which is configured against your Active Directory, and you are right in. Bang. There is no user ID password, there is no security. You configure this authenticator application, and it logs me in without having an SAP password at all. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying outside SAP. <laughs> because people just don't understand the SAP thing. And then you are in, then you can see uh, we have something called Knowledge Library, which says all the public sharing since March. Uh, we have received 99 shares from different areas, which I don't know not, uh, all of them. But everything related to SAP, non-SAP, and oops. And as you see, uh, the, the, like anybody can go in and give it a rating, like you know whether the content was good, whether the demo was good, just to increase the quality on what people are really putting in the app. And this is available to all entire IT department. We have 110 installation of this today. Uh, when it comes to registration, it's very simple form. You choose. I mean, what is the level? Are you sharing it one-to-one, -one between a department, cross-department, entire IT, with business? And everything has its own value in terms of MI coins. You choose it, you put a description, and then you pick a person. I'm going to put Martin, who is sitting here, but he doesn't have the application installed, so it won't function. <laughs> but it's, it's as simple as that. You have the users from IT teams, and you just share it, and it's just registered. Martin gets a notification through a push notification. He approves it. I get the stars, and I get the points. So idea is to increase the awareness. Idea is to increase the sharing within IT department, which is not happening so often and so uh, at a quality level. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>